Hey guys, how's it going? I'm Dave Lee with Dave Lee's English, and today we have probably the easiest lesson of the whole course, the sound of the long E. Uh, but it's very important that you pay attention because the next lesson is going to be on a sound that does not exist in Portuguese, but that is very close uh, to the long E. And if you confuse the two, you will, you can get yourself in some into some very embarrassing situations. So please uh, give a like, share, uh, subscribe, and turn on your notifications because uh, we started yesterday with the king of vowels and we're continuing through and we're going to explore every sound in the English language. So let's get to it. Uh, the sound that we're looking at today is the long E which in Portuguese uh, I represented by the word he, and also in English I represented by the word he. Of course, in English, he means Ellie, and he in Portuguese means laughter or laugh in, uh, in English. And if you notice on the chart, uh, yesterday we looked at the schwa, which is right in the middle of the mouth, a real basic uh sound. But E, by contrast, is at the very top of the mouth. The mouth is really closed. And when you say the letter E, you're saying E. And also your lips are kind of tight. Uh, you may have heard people in America, if they're taking a picture and someone's not smiling, the photographer may say, say cheese. Uh, because if you say the word cheese, uh, you have to tighten your lips and show your teeth. That's how it is with the letter E, the, the long E sound. So let's look how this uh, plays out in a little tongue twister, real easy tongue twister today. We eat meat. He sees me. She will be free at three. So remember, if you see the blue line, that's the long E sound. So the long E sound can be made in a lot of different ways. You have uh, the letter E itself, you have E-A, uh, you also have E-E, -E. and remember in English, spelling and sound don't always go together. That's one of the reasons my uh, Brazilian wife used to always say, who invented English anyway? It's one of the challenging aspects of English. But uh, if you see the red line, that's uh, intonation, the uh, emphasized words of the sentence. Like in this sentence, we eat meat. We eat meat. And this sentence, he sees me. He sees me. And in this sentence, she will be free at three. She will be free at three. So let's put them all together one more time. We eat meat. He sees me. She will be free at three. And now, with a little elastic to work on the intonation, which is very important in English. We eat meat. He sees me. She will be free at three. And that's it. And of course, you can speed it up uh, to work on sounding more natural, more native-like. But remember, the emphasized words aren't really sped up. It's the other words, the reduced words that are sped up. Uh, and that's just how English works. So thank you very much and God bless you and we'll see you next time.